Hello, everybody. What is going on? I hope everyone is uh, having a pretty good day today. Now, I am speaking to everyone on um, a Logitech uh, microphone. Sadly, I don't have the Samson mic that I used to record. Uh, however, I'm going to try my best to not speak too, too loud on this mic. Yeah, if you guys uh, notice any uh, clipping from this audio, uh, do know I do apologize for any clipping issues. I am going to have to look into getting a mic at some point down the road. Uh, apologies for the uh, mic issue, but it will be fixed, no, and no doubts. So anyways, I'm today I'm going to be talking about um, uh, an other alternative for electric vehicles. Now, a lot of things, a lot of people do not know about uh, this feeling. I'm sure this is this is uh, being picked up pretty fast, uh, especially around the internet, and uh, definitely have a lot of good things to share about in today's um, podcast. So, um, once again, I will talk about what is called hydrogen feeling, and this is quite interesting. I didn't expect this to be on my radar especially now we're going through a lot of new things changes that goes up on every day and i figured you know it would be a very good idea to uh, talk about these things and now with um a uh, popular a fuel alternative over uh, evs now we're going to go over why this is happening. And to me, this is going to be very uh, unique and fascinating why uh, we're getting something like this at this very moment. And also, for everyone uh, taking a listen in on the channel, if you happen to like this uh, podcast, be sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to follow up on each and every episode of my podcast. And um, hopefully... Uh, the more I come back doing recordings like this, the better because it will work out for me and I also get a, uh, a microphone or or re having myself to reinvest a microphone some points. So let's begin on uh, this topic of hydrogen feeling. Now, I thought this was interesting. I wrote this on my um, sub stack some time back. In looking back at uh, hydrogen, I know that um, the hydrogen is a very, um, I can't say it's a huge topic, but the topic is picking up pretty fast. It's not like the fastest thing out there, but it is out there, no doubt. But I think slowly but surely there's going to be people that are going to pick up hydrogen filling um, like if it was the days of the EVs back, back in the early uh uh, 2010s where people said oh this will be the um, better than gasoline but as more i see about um feeling us uh, this is this is why i like um alternatives and also i'll get into the point why hydrogen will pick up much faster than we ever know it and even though i there is a science behind the hydrogen i won't get all technical on you guys for um, this episode and I think the reason behind uh, hydrogen is for one I think hydrogen is uh, shows that there's gonna be um, um, uh, less uh, ev- uh, inter what do you call it environmentally impacted by fossil fuels and I'm sure there's a lot of EV evangelicals that are talking about how EVs will save the planet and it's going to be the solution, especially with gasoline. This is far beyond the truth. I think a lot of people are misguided or very short-sighted so fast that they don't know what they are talking about themselves. And that's why um, there's always going to be the importance of hydrogen. And looking over on research about uh, EVs versus hydrogen and um, 
while I will say there is truth that um, uh, there is fossil fuels burning uh, right through the air when you're anytime you're driving around a gas guzzling car while it's true um, but it isn't as bad let's say on pricing especially when you're coming to recharge um, refill your vehicle now recharging a car on a Tesla uh, Rivian or Lucid or whichever uh, electric vehicle that you have I think it's just important to go over the, the steps on each vehicle because you look at a lot of vehicles um, nowadays and I know they're trying to, to compete their whole purpose is to compete or pretty much uh, which brand will succeed long term and we all know that and I think um, when you when I looked on Tesla I thought um, Tesla was a very interesting vehicle when it first uh, has for when it first been out um, for a while and to me it wasn't like Tesla was on my radar um, over five years ago and really the Tesla has been on some people's minds recently and looking at what's been um, happening with Tesla as of the recent thing I I've seen to notice that they their share prices have fallen and only because for a certain amount of reasons that I will say that if I was someone that I invest um, anything I try to do anything to avoid the hype and everything that they do um, right as of right now I'm not a big investor when it comes to hyping up uh, EVs and a lot of the time people seems to jump so fast when it comes to say say um, their latest EV and, and I know there's basically um, evangelicals that are now just going in and jumping into the cyber truck now I'm sure some of you are thinking uh, what do I think about the cyber truck now here's something I'm just gonna grab out and I'm gonna grab out and say this the EV or the uh, cyber truck is not even out yet and for people to talk about the cyber truck at this very moment um, also uh, the cyber truck it's uh, even though it's going to be an electric full-size pickup truck uh, built by Tesla now you gotta look at to you have to look at something right here about the truck the range of the truck I don't think it's going to have enough range uh, when it first comes out and I'm going to put it out uh, and to say that it looks really ugly for a model truck I personally don't, don't like the aesthetic of this uh, electric medium size truck not I um, I just don't like the chastity of it I what I can see is that this is just probably the start of electric char trucks coming from a company I personally don't care for it too much it's just not my cup of tea um, the way I put it this way and I mean you know everyone has your picks and if you don't uh, like what I've said on this one that's fine I personally don't care for the truck too much um, I if Tesla does make a truck I think it should be better built um, just a lot more sexier like just like what they've done with um, the cars for example their uh, model S's the plaid um, the ones that they've done recently which I think they've looked really good um, they're on those like I said those vehicles are even out or the fact that um, Tesla is having a hard time bringing in parts uh, uh, for uh, to get the Cybertruck done and that's where I, I have an issue with that tr uh, that truck alone. And if it, they want to bring us to the masses, 
you got you got to understand some. You know, there's a lot of uh, components when it comes to uh, selling it to the massive public, the mass audience of Tesla um, group of Tesla fanatics out there. I personally don't care, like I've said, because down the line, um, there's going to be some. Thing, someone somewhere out there that will outdo uh, an electric truck. I say that because there's people out there that are looking to get something that will all them make them see, make them go all oh, or or wow them in some way that will impress them. And I just don't think the the battery operated uh, truck vehicle will work long term. I mean. I'm sure people say I will argue say well look at the gas trucks they've been mastered and done this why couldn't the electric car, uh, truck couldn't do that see that's just kind of the poor um, argument where I can put it this way is um, there's no way I'm gonna buy it a hundred percent go on the truck it's just not uh, like I've said it's not my cup of tea uh, I think there's going to be people out there are just going to work this a lot better, especially with alternative fueling. Um, going at it with the hydrogen, and hydrogen seems to be promising. It is a colder element. The um, the element on, um, uh, even though there's people I've seen videos online, um, now there's been hydrogens that's been, that's already been done with mass transit such as buses and trucks um, and now they're doing this with um, smaller form vehicles um, I know Toyota the Mirai it's one that's one that's a uh, kind now the one of the first um, vehicle that's done hydrogen and the only uh, states that are selling uh, the Mirai it's both Hawaii and um, California so that's um, two of the states and that they have available the there's other parts of, of the United States they what they don't have right now is the uh, 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 hydrogen fueling stations so they're not all over the place yet so if you are registered a residence about well, excuse me residents of California your chances of going getting your uh, hydrogen uh, vehicle is more likely than any of the 50 states combined so that's one thing i'd say it's good that um you can just go and uh, and get yourself a hydrogen if you live in those states and invest on it i've seen people driving the mirai um now they they have said that um it isn't like the best vehicle. I know um, Toyota have said, I have announced a, the second edition or the second version of the Mirai. Though it's going to be a long time till things are fully mastered. I have to say, it is very, very complex uh, feel. It one of the thing about. Hydrogen, I think it's uh, even though it's very complex of its structure, but I find this really cool because um, even though hydrogen in itself it's not perfect, you gotta look at it this way. I would rather own a hydrogen uh, over than uh, over than getting an EV and having to spend all the money on uh, an electric vehicle and having to. Uh, put all the expenses and onto having a charger installed in my car by a certified um, technician get and then uh, waste actual electricity running through your house uh, which is not fun and uh, then again you're wasting a lot more money having um, all that le electricity uh, inputting right through your car so you're pretty much you're basically wasting um basically you're using fossil fuel right to an electric vehicle and you're not really saving the planet by all means now hydrogen it's an abundant energy that um that can be stored and um 
and, it, and it's one of the elements that um, it's not as bad what the media says and um, and they've always compare the whole hydrogen fueling especially based on the um, that air balloon which um, that exploded in uh, New Jersey I think or what they call the uh, um, gosh I forgot the name of it too that I think it's like the Zeppelin Dario the Zeppelin balloon that blew up in, uh, in uh, 1937 they, they're always making comparisons with that Zeppelin balloon now there's a lot of pop propaganda about this too and I think a lot of people buy anything that when it comes to the, the mainstream outlets and don't get yourself fooled there is a lot of propaganda everywhere else I think you've got to do the research and um, one of the things is that even though you got one company doing hydrogen it doesn't mean that it is the end all be all and just go and I'm not going to suggest anyone to run out and uh, get uh, go get yourself a hydrogen vehicle from Toyota there's a lot of startups are looking into getting to hydrogen because even though it of its complexity you're gonna see the benefits about saving now the more hydrogen becomes in demand I do think uh, people are gonna start to realize is that hey I can save a lot more money on uh, hydrogen fueling than gasoline or uh, electric charging combined and there's uh, there's like I said there's plenty of problems I can uh, pick point on electric vehicles or electric charging stations and there was one uh, youtuber and he's actually quite correct and he actually made a very uh, uh, a very fine point about EVs is that the EV is um, for one if um, if you charge it in an electric station and let's say if it's not properly maintained that then what happens is that you're gonna get a bad uh, input right through your car I just don't think I want to place on a very bad uh, janky electric station that's not been uh, properly maintained all the time and God knows what would have would happen and that's why uh, I personally am against getting the the brand spanking new stuff all the time when it comes to new newer electronics that's why you want to wait till uh, other things start to develop and other things start to come out and compete with other fueling um, uh, cars I mean right now this is a race against uh, alt other alternate fueling and this is not just one particular fueling hydrogen will will probably become a big successor once people start to realize and that's why I've said to myself don't jump into anything else just because how nice it is you never want to go out and go out and spend on the uh, greatest and latest thing that you see on social media and for one hydrogen shows a lot of promises because in fact uh, I'm gonna have to put a link on the YouTube channel and this guy normally he said himself that he does a lot of history um, uh, a lot of history content in his channel now this is really cool because he did something uh, on this episode where he was riding a hydrogen fueled hot rod and and it's so impressive because you could even though uh, you don't smell no gas it is one of the cleanest fuel fuels out there and there's no uh, dirt or smell and the cool thing is that it does make noise unlike uh, the EVs which is always quiet on the road and now you can say one thing about how EVs are always super quiet and I actually have a problem with that and what happens um, you like you push the accelerator the accelerator and what happens that uh, it, uh, doesn't warn anyone up front I have a problem with the EVs and even though I rode one I just find that it becomes way too quiet and then what happens um, you hurt an animal and you can't see it 
even though they are there's detectors out there that tell you hey there's a there's an uh, a live animal and while the teslas are very smart um the its detection interaction doesn't really pick up with everything that and that's one thing i don't like about cars being quiet all the time uh, so back with the fueling um uh, hydrogen fueling yeah so hydrogen like i've said it's an abundant energy and i do think it will work work out great long term um down the road because we could always use something that will be al a very alternate alternative fueling it's something i like to see uh having other competing fuels and that way kind of kind of uh, disprove a lot of people at least um for me i have to say when i heard first of heard of hydrogen i said i always thought about the same things like uh, how harmful it will be and maybe hydrogen wouldn't work because how expensive it is and in fact i i heard uh, many youtubers uh going through their charts and uh line outs and blackboards and it, you to me they have no experience when it comes to uh the science behind it and um that's one of the main issues where people make up all these uh technical outlets and say that oh and quickly dismiss uh, hydrogen because this is something that will be way too expensive and will never work. And whenever people say stuff to put down things, uh, they're always going to say that that way they can uh, dismiss hydrogen and then make people go out and, and purchase uh, EVs. And either way, I think a lot of people are highly promoting EVs because, for one, they're and here's how I put it. I way I say this is is a lot of people online become intellectually dishonest, not just to themselves, but to everyone out there public publicly uh, on YouTube. And everyone that's listening, this is one thing I will have to let everyone know. If you are discounting on alternative feeling or gas feeling in general about how and here I think there are a lot of people are just wants to be virtuous because I know there are people that genuinely care about the planet but for what costs are you gonna go out and say something about a gas that you have no hands-on experience with and that's where a lot of people ends up becoming intellectually dishonest about this and look I'm sure um, they there's people out there that they probably will come out and say oh we got it wrong and and we should have looked this up sooner maybe they've uh they don't become intellectually dishonest on purpose not all of them but i do think many will become dishonest on purpose because they to fill their own I agendas and ideas and what makes them seem very right to their own eyes I think there are a lot of people out there they go out say something without without no hands-on research or um, doing the research on themselves uh, for for themselves basically and just making uh, making up something that they don't know and that's why for all the listeners you've got to be careful where you're getting your information out there and I do think um, this world has come to a point that, you know, we've got to be careful who we listen to and who our favorite YouTubers, our influencers are because they have no subject or reason about what they say. And that's why a lot of times I, even though I don't, don't uh, throw them out of the bus right away, I always want to take uh, what some people say with a grain of salt because anytime they say something it makes me wonder or question the question them it's like okay how much of what they say is true and you gotta de double verify everything nowadays and it's not just on the tech world it, it could be on politics cosmetics or whatever subject along the way and that's why i think in today's modern science we've got to be careful where or who we listen to at this point and find out 
and get a jet of idea of all, all the scientific elements that per, personally they got no idea they've got no experience of and if they know or read through hydrogen well, sure uh, hydrogen can be deadly but over the years it's it been regulated and maintained and a lot of people don't understand this in fact hydrogen uh, of the elements it's been around for many many years and for one it'd be foolish enough for any car manufacturer to put a hydrogen vehicle without proper testing otherwise that would be very foolish if that wasn't regulated or, or maintained by someone else and we already have people like that they do uh, all the research into building a vehicle like that and I do think uh, later on we're gonna see more of that happen along the way so I'd say if this is comes to a point that if I want to look into other fuel sources then that's pretty that would be pretty cool on my part and to own one and to see where that goes and yeah I also I don't mind hearing your takes on the subject right there too because um, I want to let everyone know that um, recently I just left um, Simplecast and now jumped, moved my podcast over to Substack. Uh, Substack is uh, where uh, writers, bloggers in general create newsletters and share uh, posts and ideas about and give their information to there are um, readers out there too. And in fact, I write this column called the Sunday's Post, which is written, well, every Sunday. Uh, so that's awesome. So if you want to get some of my insights or just uh, things I write randomly on the Sunday's Post, be sure to subscribe my, to my podcast over on the Substack or subscribe to me on any podcast services of your choice. So. I'm putting this uh, topic out there and because why I'm doing that because I do think uh, we are seeing a lot of cool innovation happening um, the mix between uh, lithium ion and both um, and both hydrogen as an energy source this is uh, very fascinating uh, hydrogen I mean hydrogen vehicle the concept isn't hundred percent new but in a way you look at it at it it's so fascinating to see where this can take us down the road I'm very positive for it too so to me it I think there's gonna be a lot more hype later on and a lot of things that are gonna end up being pushed I know there's gonna be people that will continue to dismiss uh, hydrogen yada 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 but wait and find out and don't dismiss anything because I know that's where a lot of people start to say EVs will never become invented it's just gonna be another uh, scam um, and people said that with EVs and has it worked yes but EVs still has its own issues when it comes to everything uh, especially when you're dealing with um, the technical side of let's say charging uh, adding a charging station to your house, uh, adding the insurance, the tax, paying the ta- uh, gas tax each year, and so on and so forth. I again, like I've said, it is not perfect by all stretch of the imagination. So, and it's going to be the same with hydrogen. It's going to be the some of the most similar issues that we'll definitely face, especially when it comes to uh, looking for fueling alternatives. Normally, I will talk about computers on this uh, on this podcast, but this is just a different topic I want to get in touch because it's been in my mind for some time, and um, I haven't done a podcast in ages now, and I figured it'd be best to get back on board, and um, hopefully, this podcast will probably pick up um, the more the be- better. We'll see how active I continue on from here. Well, anyways, everyone. I am out, and thanks for coming over and taking the listen here on the Leon Gray Podcast, episode 197. I do hope you enjoy um, this podcast, and please be sure to uh, 
uh, rate and subscribe to my uh, podcast wherever you listen to me on you know, Apple, Spotify, Google, uh, or any podcast uh, platform of your uh, of your choice. And oh, and a reminder, I am on Good Pods. So if you are listening to me on Good Pods, check it out. And hopefully, I can check up one of your comments and what do you think about this episode. With that said, I am out. Guys, take care. Have a great day. Peace.